Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw, and we are playing Criminal Case Conspiracy, Case 48, to Kingdom Come. Let's unlock Chapter 2 and... Yeah, Mia is dead. Katria, this is second, okay, we know that. Mia was killed by a bomb after borrowing our car. But who was the intended victim? Us or her? And could the bomb be part of whatever Astra's plan Supernova is? Katria, I have a lead on your case. One of the patrols has found a shack full of bomb making equipment. They discovered traces of fertilizer which matched the bomb that blew up your car. Katria, that must be where our killer built the bomb. Quick, we need to hurry over to that shack. Okay. Yeah, that's you doing some normal routine and you have no idea that you're there's a bomb in the car. I still think it was intended for us. Me, I wasn't supposed to die. I think it was intended for us. I think uh, one of the Adastrans wanted us dead for going, for discovering too much about them. And this is, uh, and they want a revenge. So it might be what we deserved after going deeper into what Adastrans are planning. But you're not going to stop me. <laughs> See, yeah, the shack really is full of explosives. We better let the bomb squad handle the dynamite. But it's great we can open ourselves. And this watch seems pretty fancy. How did it end up in this rundown shack? Regarding the name on the back, my tell us who left it here. Good thinking. I think it's Bateman's watch, if he was wearing some. Because that watch looks very expensive, so... Looks like something Bateman would wear. Alright, but we're gonna see whose it is. Oh, it's not going to be him. Fabian R. T. Oh, we know one Fabian. That guy is a CEO of Green Foods. So what for who I thought he was developing. Uh, who I thought who was responsible for corn uh, burning, but I was wrong then. Katria, the name of that Brolex is Fabian RT. Why does that ring a bell? I just told that. Right, the watch boss belonged to Fabian Roland Tavin, the head of Green Foods. We might as well investigate that cheesemaker's death. What on earth was Mr. Roland Tavin doing out here? He does shack our killer used to build our bomb. We need to question him at once. Yeah, I first thought you were Fordax because you look like you look like some uh, conspirator and somebody who would uh, whose name Fordax would fit very well. But I had no idea that Fordax was female, so. Okay. Katia, there seems to be more bomb making equipment in this crate. None of it looks like it's about to explode, so let's get to Amir. Yeah, might be what the killer used. Okay, so far everybody on our suspects list is, is somebody we already met, so. Mr. Roland Tavin, can you explain how your watch ended up in an abandoned shack in the middle of nowhere? 
Oh, I wonder where I lost that. Thank you for returning it, officers. Always a pleasure to see my tax dollars being put to good use. Good day to you. Oh, no, 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 don't go anywhere. I have some questions. Not so fast, sir. What were you doing at Shack? It was used to build a bomb that killed one of our officers, Mia Lucas. A bomb? I had nothing to do with any bomb, Inspector Katrina. Oh, really? Huh. That shack is on land belonging to Green Foods. We inspect all our assets on a regular basis, but I didn't notice anything suspicious during my last visit. What about Officer Locust? Did you ever meet her? Now that you ask, I do remember an Officer Locust. She carried out the audit of Green Foods after I gave you that file on Agribitos, but I'm afraid I barely spoke to her. My condolences, officers. Now I must get back to work. Alright, you go, but... Why do I get the feeling uh, that... Well, he's not for next, but I think... I think he's also an, an Astra, and I have that feeling, so... Let's check out this box of bomb equipment that the killer used. Some of those equipment. Katria, the chief told me the news. I can't believe Mia's gone. Me neither, Amir. It's strange how someone can be there one minute and gone the next. But tell us, did you find anything on those bomb making materials Katrina said to you? Your girl was clearly careful when they handled them, so there was no DNA on the parts. I did, however, find traces of something else on them. Wine. And more specifically, red wine made from grapes grown in the French region of Bordeaux. The girl must have been drinking it while they built the bunk, Trader. So, Akira Joe is drinking Bordeaux, Bordeaux wine. They'll have something to whine about once we got him in cuffs. Heh. <laughs> you think you should take another look around the crime scene, Katrina? I'm right behind you. Okay. Okay, I somehow get the feeling that it's going to be Bateman. The wine. And we all, all we have to do is uh, get to know if he knows how to make bombs and does he bite nails. What the heck is that toolkit doing here? We know our car's ignition coil was removed and replaced with a bomb. Could this toolkit have been used for the job? Maybe to recover whatever's written on that label, Katrina. And this looks like a handprint mold Mia made as a child. But what's, what is it doing here after all those years? You're right, this damage doesn't look like it was caused by the flames from the blast. Maybe you could like to upload those beige particles to shed some light on how Mia's keepsake ended up like this. As for that briefcase, we should take a look inside, I agree. Alright, first we're gonna search the briefcase. And whose briefcase is this? Oh, there's a picture of some sort. Come on, give me something. Oh, that's Jones and Gloria and... Who took those pictures and... There's somebody behind. Katria, those photos in the briefcase. They're of us. There's me. And look, there's Mia. Somebody's been following us. But who and why? The briefcase was full of camera lenses and folders. All the stuff a PI would have. But how could he figure out who hired them? You're right, Ramirez knows every PI in town. He'll be able to tell us who took these photos. Let's send them to him. Okay, who is following us? Oh, 
All right, now this kit. Really not to repair. Yeah, I knew it sounded familiar to me. Label on this toolkit says Mailin's Auto Repair. Mailin? Why does that name sound familiar? Oh, right, we met a mechanic by the name of Mailin Park back in B Money Mile. We investigated her boyfriend's murder. But what is Mailin's toolkit doing near our exploded car? Let's ask her. Okay. Let's see if you're involved or not. Okay, so among our suspects are everybody we know already. Alright, now this. Actually looks sad to see it broken like this. Let's go putting that sausage you collect from Mia's childhood keepsake on the microscope will tell us how it ended up damaged, Katrina. Okay. Uh, let's first examine this before talking to Malin. Communion wafers. Wait, what? Ah, oh, I get it. The, the, the thing. So, that's also me as childhood keeps it was crushed communion wafer, Katrina. Here are those little biscuits you get at church during a special kind of service, right? Yep. There's only one person around here likely to be handling communion wafers, and that's Father Shepherd. Then he can tell us what Bia's hampering mode was doing on the crime scene and how it ended up damaged. Let's talk to Father Shepherd. Okay. Alright, let's first have a chat with Maylin. Instead of Katarina, long time no see. What can I do for you? We found your toolkit in our precinct parking lot. What were you doing there? As it happens, I was there to drop off a squad car for Officer Locus. Officer Locus took our police car to your auto repair shop? Yep, said she wanted to have it waxed as a favor for you letting it to her. Why'd you ask? Because that car blew up this morning, with Mia in it. What? That's terrible! I'm sorry for the loss of your colleagues, Veracatia. But I swear, that car was in perfect working condition when I dropped it off. Okay, we'll take your word. And now let's have a chat with the priest. Ah, it's very Katrina. I've just been saying more prayers for me as immortal soul. On the subject of more earthly matters, we found me as childhood keeps a broken and we know you handled it. Could you explain what happened? Oh, you found that. I'll explain everything. Mia made this hampry mold in Sunday school. She was a devout child and this was a symbol of her fate. But after her, after her father's death, Mia grew angry with the Lord. She stopped attending mass, even though I used the finest Bordeaux wine. I tried to reassure her. I told her that the Lord works in mysterious ways. He first appeared to me when I was in the military, working as a farm disposal technician. I was an anxious, nail-biting mess, but he put me on the right path, is better, Katrina. Mia didn't want to listen, though. She came to confession this morning, but when I handled her the mold to remind her of devoutness, she threw it on the floor. Were you annoyed by her decision? No, 
just worried. I persuaded her to hold on to that keepsake in the hope that she'd change her mind, but she wasn't throwing it away outside the station. Now that she's with the Lord, I'm sure all her sins have been forgiven, Sper Katrina. But you are the number one suspect, priest. Who took the photo of us? Who was tracking us down? Ramirez, did you manage to figure out who took those surveillance photos of us? I sure did. He was a PI hired by Christian Bateman. Oh, what are you doing, dude? What? Bateman had us followed? Not only did Bateman have you follow, he had your car tracked too. He tracked a car that Mia blew up in? Katria, we know that Bateman is part of Adastra and that they want us off their case. Could Bateman have tried to kill us so we'd stop meddling? We need to question him at once. Yeah. What was that about, dude? I still think it was meant for us. Whatever it is, make it snappy, Sweater Katrina. I just decanted a vintage Bordeaux and I'd like to enjoy it without you in my presence. I don't want to see you as well, but you need to tell us what you know. Why did you hire a PI? Ditch the attitude, Mr. Bateman. We know you hired a PI to follow us. Why? Oh, that. Well, for sheer entertainment, of course. Not that I'm a man only sure, I have a lot of free time. Oh, police, dude. Sometimes I get so bored I rig the doors and small explosives to give the household staff a fright. It's nail-biting stuff. Oh, please, no. I don't trust you. You're out of your mind. Admit it, you had us fall because of our investigation into Ad Astra, didn't you? This is a common tire, so it's better, Katrina. Now, unless you're going to charge her with something, please get out of my house. Or I'll remove you myself. Oh really, how are you going to do that? You might think you're untouchable, Mr. Bateman, but if we discover you killed our colleague, we'll have your back behind bars in a blink of an eye. Yeah, you just earned yourself a spot on the top of our suspect list. I hate you, Ed. Katrina, when I woke up this morning, I never imagined I would be spending the day investigating Mira Mia's murder. We found her dead in our police car, which was rigged with a bomb that went off when the ignition was turned on. It's still unclear whether Mia was the intended victim of the attack or whether we were the target. We know that one of the Adastra conspirators, Christian Bateman, was having both us and our vehicles tracked. But he denies knowing anything about the murder. We also learned that Father Shepard argued with Mia about her fate shortly before her death. But surely a man on the clock wouldn't have murdered her for that. Then there's Fabian Roland Tavin, the head of Grim Foods. He visited the shack where the bomb was built, but that's not solid proof of wrongdoing. Oh, somebody's having a fight. We're gonna need more evidence if we are to... Katria, what's all that noise? I think it's coming from Martin's lab. What's going on? Who are you having a fight with now, Martine? Alright, we gotta start here, we gotta continue playing in chapter 3. So, thank you for watching. Don't think you like this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!